the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Relationships are currencies. Like, like you have naira, naira you, you have, have the dollar, dollar you, you have, have the pound. Relationships are currencies. They, they can, can purchase, purchase things, they, they can purchase people, and they, they can, can purchase, purchase conditions into, into our lives. What, what a, a powerful, powerful currency that, that can, can purchase, purchase things, can, can purchase, purchase men, and can, can purchase, purchase conditions, states of living, conditions into, into our lives. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For, For reference, reference, let's, let's look, look at Genesis, Genesis chapter 12. 12. We are going, going to be contrasting scripture after scripture. Genesis chapter 12, we we'll read the first five verses. Please pay attention. This was the Lord giving, um, giving Abraham now, before he was changed to Abraham, an instruction. Follow carefully. Now the Lord said unto Abraham, Abraham now, get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred, follow carefully, and from thy father's house, Unto a land that I will show you. Who did the Lord speak to? Abraham. Okay. Verse 2. The Bible says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make your name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. Verse 3. The Bible says, And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curse thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Pay attention to 4 and 5. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to who? Him. God spoke to Abraham silver and in gold. Verse 3. The Bible says, And he went on his journeys from the south even to Bethel unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and Hai. Okay, go ahead. Unto the place of the altar which he had made there at the first and there abraham called upon the name of the lord verse 5 everyone please read verse 5 ready one to read and lot also which went with abraham stop stop why is the bible giving us this information just tell us lot had flocks lot had herds and he had tents but the bible is very meticulous to describe the basis for this man's blessing he says and lot also among the many that went with abraham there is this man who is what studying a case study indeed and lot also which went with abraham had flocks and herds and tens say blessed by association verse 6 and the land was not able to bear them again that they might dwell together uh oh how can god call one man and then another man says i will follow and now they get to a point where you do not even know who god called again because of the abundance of what they had the bible says the land was not able to bear them not him them that they might dwell together for their substance was great so that they could not dwell together stop there god calls abraham in chapter 12 lot went with him the result everything god did to abraham he know the difference because one person decided that he would be blessed if not by divine ordination then he would be blessed by association 
our next scripture are you ready for this jonah chapter one don't laugh be serious this is the house of god jonah chapter one let's start from verse one are you ready now the word of the lord came unto jonah the son of amittai saying it's a long reading let's be patient arise go to nineveh remember god called jonah to alone they did it for me uh-huh the bible says but jonah rose up to flee unto tashes from the presence of the lord and went down to Joppa. listen carefully now and he found a sheep going to tashes so he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them unto tashes from the presence of the lord now the guys in the ship had no idea what was happening everybody just paid their transport fare and they began their journey but the lord sent out a great wind into the sea and there was a mighty tempest in the sea so that the ship was like to be broken then the mariners were afraid and cried every man to his god and cast forth the wares that were in the ship now they are losing all the things that they bought everyone is losing because they, they do not understand what is responsible for this kind of trouble that they cast away their wares to lighten the ship the bible says but jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship and he lay there and what was he doing so jonah was not looking for trouble jonah didn't want trouble he only entered and joined himself with a certain people and was sleeping hmm. verse 6 so the ship master came to him and said unto him what meanest thou o sleeper arise call upon thy god if so be that god will think upon us that we perish not and they said everyone to his fellow come let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is come upon us so they cast lot and the lord fell upon jonah right so let's see what is happening next verse 8 and then they said unto him tell us we pray thee for whose cause is this evil come upon us what is thy occupation and whence comest thou what is thy country and of what people are thou the lord the god of heaven which had made the sea and the dry land jonah is speaking now then were the men exceedingly afraid and said unto him why hast thou done this for the men knew that he fled from the presence of the lord because he had told them you would think that because he told them the truth god would isolate him and deal with him alone for his personal disobedience isn't it amazing that it looked like the people were even suffering more than him who disobeyed is that true we don't read any record of him throwing anything we even read of him sleeping at least he was rested and these guys there was all kinds of turbulence the things that they had bought their businesses were failing they were losing not because they lost the know-how but they just hosted one man in that boat are we together for sake of time when you read on you would hear that they now ask him and say what do we do we want peace and jonah said let me tell you the honest truth as painful as this is for as long as i am in this boat with you this yoke will not lift jonah is telling them he's saying the secret is that you have to separate me from yourselves take me out of that boat and the people said no 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 we can't throw you we can't do this kind of evil let's still try and do our best and they kept on in futility you read down to verse 15 and you see that they did their best and it did not work so they took up jonah and cast him forth into the sea read the remaining part and the sea ceased from her raging if you can be blessed by association then it also means you can be caused by association are we blessed now 
remember we're contrasting scriptures mark chapter 4 please give us verse 37 so here we see jonah in a boat and on account of his disobedience people are about to lose their lives except that they threw him out into the sea the bible now says when you read from verse 37 for sake of time that jesus proposed to his disciples that they would go to the other side and then the bible says as they sojourned there arose a great storm of wind and the waves beat into the sheep does this remind you of any story the same experience of jonah isn't it so that it was now full next verse we are reading to 41 and he was in the hinder part of the sheep asleep jonah was asleep jesus team matthew chapter 4 let's start our reading from verse 18 this is jesus now and jesus walking by the sea of galilee saw two brethren simon and peter and andrew simon called peter and andrew his brother casting a net into the sea for they were fishers uh-huh and he said unto them follow me everybody say follow me follow me and i will make you this is jesus now giving them a proposal follow me leave what you're doing and follow me and he leaves them with an assurance that in following me there is an implication to following me i will make you fishers of men verse 20 the bible says and straightway they straightway left their nets and followed him Go with me please to the book of acts chapter 4 acts chapter 4 from verse 10 what was the implication of following jesus acts chapter 4 and verse 10 peter is speaking now be it known unto you and to all the people of israel that by the name of jesus christ of nazareth whom ye crucified whom god raised from the dead even by him doth this man stand before you whole this was the healing of the man at gate beautiful next verse this is the stone which was set at not of you builders which is become the head of the corner uh-huh neither is there salvation in any other for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved now the bible says when they saw the boldness please go back to go to 13 13 1 13 now when they saw the boldness of peter and john they perceived that where they were unlearned and ignorant men they marveled they took knowledge of them that they had been with jesus that means when they saw the boldness of peter and his brother perhaps they had come to buy fish from them at one point or the other and now they are looking at the same people with such boldness declaring the basis for that man's healing the bible says they they, they couldn't remember that these people had any education as we know and we have known you people to be ignorant but then they remembered that this was the implication of their association with jesus jesus told ignorant men follow me and i will make you by the time we get to the book of acts these men had been so made that everybody around them could testify that we once knew you but this version of you we don't know from whence it has come blessed by association now you have to understand that associations and relationships matter as far as our growth and our excelling in life is concerned many believers i'm not sure that most believers understand the extent to which associations and relationships um, count as far as determining the kind and the quality of destiny that you can be able to walk in most people have been very careless about associations about relationships and sadly to their peril and to their detriment i hope that by this teaching god will wake us up again 
to see that among the factors that need to be in place in my life and your life for us to truly be able to rise to our full prophetic potential in Christ is the ability to understand the implication of associations and relationships. Please write this down. Understanding the biblical principles of relationships is the key to being truly blessed by association i'll take it again understanding the biblical principles of relationships understanding the biblical principles of relationships is the key to being truly blessed by association that means if you desire to be blessed by association then you have to submit yourself to understand the biblical keys that make for sustainable relationships let's look at two scriptures very quickly number one amos chapter 3 and verse 3 the bible says can two walk together except they be agreed two people two families two companies two believers can two walk together except they be agreed scripture number two proverbs chapter 18 and verse 24 proverbs 18 24 here's what the bible says a man that hath friends must show himself friendly and that there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother that means friendship and relationships according to this scripture is a harvest that if you do not sow that seed of friendliness you cannot have that harvest are we together now yes many people desire to have profitable associations profitable relationships that make for their excelling that make for their advancement but i think largely believers have not been taught the kingdom principles that make for relationships I have watched with shock and even wonder at many people who are well-meaning and love the Lord with all their hearts. I have seen people stunted at certain levels and would not make any noticeable progress. Not because they are evil at heart. Not because they do not know God or they do not love God. But simply because they have not learned the excellency and the value of relationships. And Lot went with him. There are business people today who have no business being wealthy and blessed except that they were wise and foolish enough to follow people who were wise and by their followership they entered a heaven whose impact for them will be transgenerational. There are many people whose lives were correct until they met certain people. Are we together? Certain families were going correct until they met certain people certain believers whose lives were in perfect order until they came into certain associations they came into certain relationships that now began to pour into them pungent ideologies and there are many people whose lives were going haywire except that they met a person a people who now brought their lives to order relationships matter your eternal destiny now has been decided or will be decided tonight purely based on relationship that because of how powerful relationships are a man can literally spend the remaining part of his life in hell or in heaven simply because of relationships are we together relationships are very powerful i've had the honor and the privilege by reason of the work god has committed to my hands to talk with very very successful people extremely successful people and i am amazed every time i talk with them a, a major part of their discussions is centered around relationships more than ideas in my presence you would see them interrupt our conversation making all kinds of calls and laughing and sometimes in the middle of something serious and they take their discussions very 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 serious and now i'm wondering 
if these people place that much value on relationships could there be something that we do not know because there are many believers the only relationship you have is god that is wonderful as far as your spiritual growth is concerned but you are learning here now that when it has to do with living in the cosmos you are going to suffer as if it's not god that you gave your life to and that's why god is teaching us these things to help us listen very carefully there are many people today who are in positions where based on the opportunities that god brought to their lives they should never be in that state financially spiritually in influence and so on and so forth many of us have loved ones around us and we have people around who continue to live mediocre defeated lives in the presence of many people who can provide leverage for them dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.